you've been created for greatness. Some people, well, everybody's been created for greatness, whether they all achieve or not, that's different. But you have to surround yourself with people who are committed yep. to their greatness. That's right. Exactly. When I'm stuck or when I'm going through, I have to use my imagination to remember God created me as an eagle. And what God showed me about eagles is that there's a break right after I pluck all your feathers out. That's what happens to, leave, uh, to, to eagles. Their feathers get plucked out. And now as the eagle lays up on the, e on the mountain by itself, snap off his beak. Feeling like you can't talk because your beak is gone. That was me. Snap off all your claws up there on the, on the rock by itself. And that was me. All the stuff I thought I could do, the broadcasting, the customer service, the sales, everything on my resume was now void. And that was the way I would claw myself the money. Because I could do this, 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 and this. Now I can't even claw myself the money. My nails are cut off, just like the eagle. Laying up. And the only thing you can do when you have lost everything is to lay prostrate before the Lord. And that was me. And you have to go through that season of making, of breaking, of shaking until God comes and restores you. And when you're getting restored, this is when you start feeling that season of being unstuck to unstoppable. Unstuck to unstoppable. And as God restores those feathers and those wings that felt like they was broke, because you had them pitched like this, because you was down in the chicken cage with all those other unbelievers who wasn't moving in their goals. That wasn't your tribe. You have to step out and be okay being alone. And you got to get used to opening your wings, because chickens don't fly, and they definitely don't soar. But when you understand the power of what God has put in you, every gift, skill, and talent you have, you're supposed to and you're supposed to so you find yourself stuck, excuse me, and needing to be unstoppable. Think about what you do in the morning. Put your glasses on, that's your vision. You get your recovery, that's your prayer. You try, be aware of your season, and awareness, your season of shifting and changing. Be aware of the clothes you put on. Some of the people and their opinions and what yeah. they say, that's their weight and be in tune with those old beliefs that never serve you, that don't serve you. And if she says, I can be unstoppable, and if the word of God says, I can be unstoppable, then I can. And I gotta remember who God has built me to be. I want you to remember who God built you to be. Anytime you become unstuck, begin to use your mouth and say, I'm unstoppable. God, show me the way. And when he shows you, be willing to take massive, inspired action on your goals, and you will become unstoppable. I'm Speaker Shea Grace, and I thank you for your time. Thank you.